school's in session and that means your kiddos need to be prepared. We're here at the Chatham County Health Department to see what steps you need to take before stepping into the classroom. So very first thing is we want to make sure that the children have the required documents to go back to school. So when it comes to health wise, that is going to be an updated immunization record. It is form 3231. And there's also an ear, eye, dental, and BMI screening, which is known as form 3300. So it's a wide variety of immunizations needed for school. And it's going to vary by the age of the child. So typically little ones get their baby shots when they're two months, four months, things like that. But then they do need another set of shots when they turn four, typically before they go into preschool. And then the next set is when they turn 11, usually around the time they're going into seventh grade. And then the last set is when they turn 16, around the time of 11th grade. The 11 year old or the seventh grade shots, that's typically gonna be a updated tetanus shot, a meningitis booster, they're also eligible for the HPV vaccine that can prevent cancer. When they turn 16 and go into 11th grade, we like to do a meningitis booster. Vaccines were made because we are trying to prevent disease, viruses, things like that. We want to prevent kiddos from getting tetanus if they cut their finger. We want to make sure that they're not getting meningitis when they're in large crowds, things like that. We wanna do a physical before they do sports. We wanna make sure that they are healthy enough to run, jump, climb, all the things with sports, all the fun stuff, right? Um, but we also wanna make sure that they're physically healthy for that. A big thing is looking at their muscular um, skeletal system to make sure their joints are okay and also looking at their cardiac system to make sure their heart is healthy enough to do some of those activities. So if you're coming in for sports physical particularly you'll come into this clinic we'll get your information you come into this exam room right here we do the complete head-to-toe physical examination we look at your eyes your ears check your lymph nodes check your heart check your lungs make you do a couple things to check your joints talk about some medical history, family medical history as well that could be um, pertinent, and then we go through things like medications, allergies, and check your immunization status. Our health screening is particularly the ear, eye, and dental screening that's needed if you're entering a Georgia school system for the first time. So typically we see these most with little kindergarten kids. They'll come into the clinic, our pediatric dentist will check their teeth, we'll get a height and weight on them to look at their BMI, we'll check their vision, we have a really cool camera that can do that, and then we'll also put them in a hearing booth to check to make sure that they can hear different octaves of sounds. For our little ones going to school, we definitely can expect some illnesses to arise. Kids are germ factories, they spread everything amongst themselves. So the things that we're most typically used to seeing, um, especially at the beginning of a school year, are respiratory illnesses and viral illnesses in general. Cough, runny nose, sneezing, low grade fever, maybe some gastrointestinal issues, all typically viral in nature and self-limiting. Right now is typically one of our busiest times of year getting prepared, ready to go back to school. On our free screening days, we'll see about 200 to 300 kids, um, all in an eight hour period. And then once school does start back, we will see kids all day, every day, and we're usually booked up for about a solid six to eight weeks. We are appointment only. So if you know that your kiddo needs vaccines, if you know you need to get some of these school screenings done, go ahead and call us now. Main things to keep healthy, wash your hands, cover your mouth, and know when you sneeze and cough, try to get a good night's sleep. Don't be around others that are sick and you don't be around others if you are sick. It's good to be doing these things now. That way when August 1st comes, school starts, you don't have to worry about anything. You can worry about what the kid's gonna wear on the first day of school, what you're gonna pack for their lunch, what activities are you gonna sign them up for. Don't wait, don't procrastinate, go ahead and get it done now. That way you don't have to worry about anything. If you want to learn more from the experts or make an appointment, you can visit their website, coastalhealthdistrict.org.